Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. For this video, I will be redesigning two of my very old failed customs, Thora and Fable. The purple one is missing her horn and had transplanted feet. They need to be hooves and match her body color. Her face also needs fixing and she seems to be missing her horn. This is Fable. The pink one is messy from head to her toes. Her hair is from an old Draculaura doll and it is greasy and full of glue. That needs to go. Her body blushing makes her look dirty and her face up is just weird. This is Thora. So let's give these two a second chance. First up is Thora. Got to remove that terrible hair. Gross. I was slowly peeling it off with pliers. It came off as one solid piece. Then I use 100% acetone to ruin the face and clean up the body. I'm very careful of the body because acetone can melt the plastic so I'm going very slowly. Once her body is clean I wash off the acetone with water and soap and she's now ready to be customized. Again. After spraying her body with Mr. Super Clear Matte I blush the body with bright pink and also add a bit of blushing to her face. With the blushing done, now for the tricky part. I want to spray her hands and feet with black spray paint. So I'm hoping that I'm able to control the paint enough that it stays where I want. Fingers crossed. And yes, it worked! A few dots here and there, but it's looking good. For her body art, I use a neon pink paint and add some henna-like details to her feet, hands, chest, and knees. On the black parts of her body, I use only the pink paint, but on the pink parts of her body, I use pink and black. And the paint glows under UV light, which is an added bonus. Her face-up will be very similar to her original, just with a few adjustments. Starting with drawing on her eyes and filling them in with black. I then make her lips black and drawing on an extended open mouth, I continue to add more details to her face such as her tears and teeth. I add white to her teeth and fill in the rest of her mouth with black. For her eyeliner, I use the pink paint. I start her face design with using color pencils to draw on the design first so it's easier to remove if I make a mistake. And then I use black paint to make it stand out more, and then once the black paint is done, I add pink and copy the design to the other side. After I'm happy, I add gloss to her eyes and lips. For her hair, I quickly made a wig cap off camera. For her hair, I'm using this neon pink nylon from the Doll Planet. I make the hair into wefts to glue to the wig cap. I just start from the bottom, going all the way to the top. The part is always the hardest for me, so off camera I had to work a little and fudge a little bit because it was very stubborn, but I was able to finish the wig. For Thora's outfit, I use a tights fabric and create a tube dress that I sew the back halfway up and then add two snaps for closures. Her bikini top is a pattern from DG Requiem, her bikini and underwear pattern. I use a triangle top and cut out the pattern and use ribbon for the straps. I changed the design a little and I had to add darts to the side of the triangle so that it would fit tight to the body. And with that, Thora is done. Time for Fable. To start, I clean the face with 100% acetone and sadly there is a bit of staining on her face but it is an easy fix. I start with painting her head and body with thin layers of purple. Once it is dry, I paint on a few layers of matte varnish just to seal it in and protect the paint. And as the same as the first doll, I spray her arms with the black spray paint. For her body blushing, I use blues, purples, and a darker pink eyeshadow. Once the blushing is done, I add stars to her hips, chest, arms using white. And then add more details to the stars with shades of blue color pencils. I then use paint to add more details and glow in the dark paint, of course. I use two part epoxy scalp to create the basic shape and then sand down the clay to fully shape the hooves and get my desired hoof look. I use the same clay to fit the ears better to her head and make her unicorn horns. Once the clay is dry, paint around the hooves, ears, and horns purple just to clean up the areas and make the transition cleaner. I paint the hooves black and prepare yarn wefts to layer on the leg above the hoof. I then cut the extra off and thin out the hair with an eyebrow razor. 
For a cleaner blend, I add flocking to the top of the yarn where it meets the leg. Fable's dress is a tube dress pattern with extended trains cut out of a dark navy fabric. I sew the sides first, and then like Thora's dress, I sew the back halfway up and add snaps for closures. I add ribbons to the side of the trains, then add star details out of UV polish and glue them to the dress. And of course, there is also glow in the dark paint within the stars. For her face up, I start with blushing. I did color her horn off camera and to protect it, I use clear wrap and tape. I then add the whites of her eyes and add her lip color as well as some white details to her lips. I add pink, blues, and purple colored pencils to her eyeshadow as well as some white details. I draw on her eyebrows first with white and then add some blue and black. To match her body art, I paint stars and white dots on her cheeks and around her eyes. I also add more glue in the dark paint. Her eyes will be a gradient of shades of purple, very simple. I then add the catch lights in her eyes and gloss the eyes and lips with gloss varnish. And for some extra sparkle, I add earrings and jewelry hooks to her ears. I prepare black yarn wefts for her hair. The style I'm going for is a pull to one side look, and I just glue the wefts accordingly. For her tail, I dye alpaca hair and create a long weft, which I then glue to a magnet and attach the second magnet to the back of the doll using the same epoxy clay. To make it cleaner and have a better transition, I cover the glue and clay with flocking to both her back and her tail, and then add a few extra silver jewelry hoops here and there, and Fable is done! And here are the final dolls. It was a lot of fun going back and looking at all my old projects and the ones that I didn't get to complete. Or even start, really. It is also nice to compare how much I have improved over the years. Fable is definitely my favorite out of the two. I know this video is shorter than my most recent videos, but it is meant to be a short project between two big ones and help me regain my focus and motivation. There are still a lot more goodies coming your way. Thank you for joining me today. Creating these dolls was a lot of fun. Follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more part of my process and subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you all for your love and support. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye.